Hello everyone how are you all i hope you all are doing well so today we are going to start a new lesson from your math textbook part 2 that is money so open page number 51 page number 51 chapter 5 that is money so children in your previous class already you have learned how to add how to subtract amount in rupees and in paise and you also have learned the mathematical operations to find the totals multiple cost unit cost and also to describe rate charts and the bills right so in this lesson what you are going to learn is that that write a rupee and paise in decimal form next solve problems on money involving all the mathematical fundamental operations understand the importance of earning saving and spending money and its wise usage then check the list of items purchased while shopping i know the prices prevalent in the market and thus do shopping accordingly know the need for the bill and prepare a bill how to prepare the bill and read the sorry reading the bill and understand the information given in the bill so this is all the points you are going to learn in this lesson so we will solve the exercise part here we are going to solve many of the examples okay so let's start here so first mean if you see find the following sum of rupee 13.25 rupees 6.30 rupee 10.40 is equal to how much sum means what yes sum means addition you know that right so you have to add all these rupees okay so let's do it so here you can see i have written the same example sum of rupees 13.25 rupees 3.3 6.30 rupee 10.40 so this if you see here 13.25 so this 13 is what it is rupee after the decimal point these numbers will be considered as what paise that what we have solved in the previous lesson that is decimal fraction okay i'll put that video link in my description box just go and check it out children okay so 13.25 25 means paise here 6 is rupee 30 is paise 10 is rupee 40 is a paise so let's solve it as i told you sum means what addition right so how you are going to keep these number one by one so first one we'll start this one rupee 13.25 then rupee 6 if you see 6 we have to arrange the numbers in a such a way so this point should come exactly below the another so see rupee 6 so here you are not supposed to write the 6 here okay because here we are having two digits here one single digit after that you are having a decimal point as i told you the decimal should be exactly below okay so 6.3 Zero rupees it is right. Next ten. This is ten. See here point four zero. See decimal point should be exactly one below the other. Now let's add all these rupees. Okay. So first we have to start from right. You know that how to do the addition, right? So five zero zero five. Two plus three five. Five plus four. Nine. Right. Yes. Next. you just don't put any decimal point just goes on adding the numbers later i will tell you next 3.6 sorry 3 plus 6 is how much 3 plus 6 is 9 so let's write 9 1 here nothing is there means what 0 1 plus 1 2 now you have to see the way the decimal points are there after two digit right so let's put the decimal point after two digit 1 2 yes so rupee what is your answer Rupees twenty nine and ninety five paisa. Okay, so let's write this answer here. Twenty nine rupees ninety five paise. And you know that what is this? This is a symbol of rupee. Okay. Yes. No. Now let's go to the second one. Second one is there difference of rupees seventy eight point four five means what? Seventy eight rupees forty five paise and sixty nine rupees seventy. Pesos. Difference means what? Difference. Difference means subtraction. So this is a mathematical operation we have to follow. Where when we are having difference, difference means what? Subtraction. So let's do it here. 
yes you can see here we are having that example right difference of 78 rupees 45 paise and 69 rupees 70 paise here also you have to keep the number how as i told you in the case of addition okay the decimal point should be one below the other so first we'll write this number difference so rupee 78 rupee 45 paise and 69 rupee 70 paise right so let's do the subtraction so 5 minus 0 so 5 minus 0 is 5 no 4 minus 7 is it possible to subtract 7 from 4 no because 7 is the greater than the 4 now what you have to do you have to borrow 1 from the next place so we'll borrow from here so this will become 7 and this will become 14 so 14 minus 7 is how much 14 minus 7 is 7 right yes so now 7 minus 9 is it possible no you have to borrow 1 from the next place so this has become 6 and this will become 17 17 minus 9 is how much 17 minus 9 is 8 right so 6 minus 6 is 0 so here now where we have to put the decimal point after two digit if you see one two one two after two digit we are having decimal point so let's put the decimal point here so what is your answer eight rupees 75 paise so this is your answer okay so we'll write the answer here in this box that is rupees that is eight rupee 75 paise is your answer got it okay now let's move to the third one so here we are having third one product of 147 rupee 25 paise and 17 rupee we don't have paise here right so product product means what do you remember yes very good product in the sense multiplication right so let's do it here yes can you see here we are having that ex same example i have written product of 147 rupees 25 paise and 17 rupees so let's write how to write this one same as it is rupees 147.25 into 17 this is rupee also okay so let's do the multiplication you know that right how to do the multiplication so 7 5 are 35 so how to write 35 5 will write here 3 will carry over to the next place next 7 2 are 14 14 plus 3 17 so 7 will write here and 1 will carry over to the next place so 7 7s are 49 49 plus 1 50 so 5 again will carry over here 7 4s are 28 28 plus 5 33 right will write 3 here and again next 3 will carry over 7 1s are 7 so 7 plus 3 is 10 right yes so now come to this next number 1 5 are where after addition 1 5 are 5 1 2 is a 2 1 7 is a 7 1 4 is a 4 1 1 is a 1 right so we have to do the addition right so listen here one more thing just leave about the decimal point while solving. Later I will write after getting the answer. Then we go with the decimal point. Okay. Till then while solving the example. Just leave about the decimal point. So here just add all these numbers. What answer you get? 7, 7 plus 5. It's 12 right. So 2 here and we will carry over. 1 to the next place. Here 0 plus 2. 2 2 plus 1 3. 3 plus 7 is how much? 3 plus 7 is 10. 0 plus 4, 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, right, now come to the decimal point, you see, see in the question here, where you are having the decimal point after 2 digits, so let's put the after 2 digits, 1, 2, right, so rupee, so what is your answer, 2503 rupee and 25 paisa, okay, we'll write here the answer, rupees, that is 2000 503 rupees and 25 paisa so this is your answer got it okay now let's move to the fourth one so come to the fourth one quotient of rupees 4960 divided quotient in the sense divide they only have given the sign here you can come to know quotient in the sense so what it is division right so by 8 you have to divide this number by this okay so let's do it so here you are having the question so let's write it here rupee 4960 divided by what rupee 8 so let's write here 
4960 divided by what? 8. So let's do the division here. Okay. So if you see first number, this number is greater and this is smaller. Now you have to go to the second. Now take this 49. Now you have to read the A table till you get the 49. Do you get the 49 A table? No. Then you have to come to the below number. That is 8, 6, 48. Right? So let's subtract here. 9 minus 8 is 1. 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. Now take this number below. It will become 6. So this one become what? 16. Now you have to count that A table till you get 16. Do you get the 16 in A table? Yes. That is A to the, A to the 16. Right? So let's write here. 6 minus 6, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1, 0 is 0. Now we are having this 0. If you bring it down, then here also you have to write it here in the answer. So what is your answer? 620. So your answer is rupee 620. Got it children? Yes. Yes, now we'll go to the second main, solve the following in that first one. Subtract 95 paise 80 rupees from the sum of, from the sum of rupees 279.05 and 103.25. Okay, so here we have to subtract this number from the sum of, sum means addition. We have to what? We have to add these both number. We will get the sum. Then from this total answer, we have to subtract this one to get our whole answer. Got it? So let's do it here. First, we have to add these both. 279 rupees 0 paise and 103 rupees 25 paise. If you see, already have written here. That is, here it is there, right? So let's add it. 5 plus 5, 10. So, 0 will carry over next place. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 2, 3. Next, 9 plus 3 is how much? 9 plus 3 is 12, right? So, 2 will write here and we will carry over here. 1 plus 7, 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 1 is 3. So, now, is that clear? What you have to do? Yes. You have to put the decimal point. Where? After Two digit. You can see in the question. One, two, one, two. So let's put here. One, two. So what is the answer? 382.30 means 382 rupees 30 paisa. Now question. Just go through the question here. We got the sum of this both. Right? What is our answer? That is 382. When we add this both number, we got 382 point. That is 30. Right? Now you have to subtract this number from this. Okay. So let's do it here. So 95 rupees 80 paise. Okay. These are rupees only. Right. Okay. So let's what subtract it. 0 minus 0. 0. 3 minus 8. Is it possible? No. What you have to do? You have to borrow 1 from this place. So this will become 1. I mean this has become 13. So 13 minus 8 is how much? It is Phi u right next 1 minus 5 is it possible no you have to borrow 1 from this place so this will become 7 and this become 11 11 minus 5 is that is 6 now 7 minus 9 is it possible no you have to borrow 1 from this place so this become 2 and this is become 17 17 minus 9 is that is 8 right so 2 here do, we don't have any number means it will be considered as a 2 only so 2 8 6 5 0 right so where you have to put the decimal point after 2 digit you can see here right so let's put it here so 286 rupees 50 paise is your answer got it children yes solve the second one express 32 rupee in paise okay you have to express 32 in rupees in paise you have to convert from rupee to paise so let's do it here it's there. So, you know that 1 rupee, 1 rupee is equal to how, how many paise? 100 paise, right? So, 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise and 1 paise is equal to 1 by 100 rupee. You know that, right? Yes. So, just see here, we have to convert from rupee to paise. First one. Okay, so here in this question, 32 rupee we have to convert into paise. Okay, 
So, let's write here 32 rupee. Okay, that convert into paise. So, 32 rupees is there here into 100. Okay, we have to convert the rupee to paise. Then we have to multiply this 100 by that given number. So, 32 into 100. You have to do this. You know that how to do the multiplication. Shall I show you? Okay, so see here. 32 into 100 is very easy. 0 to the 0. 0 3 the 0. Plus 0 to the 0. 0 3 the 0. Plus plus 1 to the 2. 1 3 the 3. Now let's add 0 0. 0 plus 2 2 3. So that is 3200. So 3200. Paise is your answer. The easy method I will show you. Just write this given number as it is. Just see here. Here how many zeros are there? 1, 2. Let's put that 0 here. After that number you will get the paise. Okay. So this is the uh, trick I am showing you. So your answer is 3200 paise. Okay. Now go, let's go to the third one. The similar question we are having in third also. 19 rupees 75 paise in paise you have to convert 19 rupees 75 paise in paise so let's do it here already we have done in the previous lesson right so it's very easy let's do it so here already these are in paisa so we have to convert this 19 into paise so let's do it here 19 as we know that here come to this one 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise from rupee to paise from paise to rupee now we have to convert from rupee to paise right so here from rupee to paise what you have to do you have to multiply right so let's do it here 19 into 100 so as i as i told you here 19 how many zero 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 now you have to add this 75 here paise so what will your answer 1970 for you is your answer we have convert this rupees into paise got it children so this is how you are going to do it now come to the fourth one express 4705 paise in rupee it is very easy will you do this one already we have done right so express 4705 paise in rupees what you have to do here we have to go with this one that is from paise to rupee means one paise is equal to one by hundred rupee okay so four thousand seven hundred five paise in rupees so let's do it here four thousand seven hundred five divided by what divided by hundred isn't it so how you are going to do it it's very easy already we have done it so as it is numerator we will write here 4705 now come to the denominator how many zeros are there 1 2 after 2 numbers you have to put the decimal point 1 2 so what is the answer 47.05 means it is rupees 47 and 5 paisa is your answer got it yes so students today we have learnt exercise 5.1 in that we have solved first and second main in the next class we are going to solve the third main till then take care of yourself be with me and if you found this video is really useful to you then what do you have to do like the video share with your friends and do subscribe the channel okay bye bye